What is up guys? I'm One Lone Nerd coming at you with some spooky content. So we have a slightly different setup today. Um, let me adjust. So we are doing a baking video. Let me do some of this. Oh no, everything's going wrong again. I've been trying to set up this equipment for like two hours because I'm using a new method of recording and it has been a pain in the ass. I'm actually so frustrated with this but I have a cutting board, I have some puff pastry, we're making human face pies. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is, as uh, if anyone knows uh, Garrett Watts, the YouTuber, he makes amazing content, like literally, oh my god. And he made these human face pies and they look absolutely sick, and now I want to make them, so that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so normally people make them with like cherry filling because it's red and all. But I'm not doing that. I am making a fruit one because I have to to try the original. But I'm also making a frozen banana and almond one with some dolce dolce filling, which is essentially a caramel, which is less sweet, and it's gonna taste amazing. Sorry, I'm just readjusting my camera. We're getting closer. Oh my god. I think I did it. I mean, yeah, my background, I want to show you guys. Not the kind of ones I took. Um, yeah, I've got some pumpkins in the background and I've got this little haunted house here. Like, let me grab it. It's a little haunted house cookie jar. And like, you can put desserts in there. I had to get this, it's amazing. So yes, we are going to be making human face pie. That's why we have this camera. Let me move the monster out of the way. So I guess let's get right to it. So, I'm so the audio on this video is absolutely horrible. I'm so sorry for that. Like I tried so hard to have a great setup for this video and it just wasn't working. So I guess you're stuck with voice over me. So yeah, I made this a couple weeks ago. So you're learning with me. So. As I was getting the pie dough out, it kept falling apart, which was really annoying. So I just kind of had to like crimp the edges together, just keep it all together. But here I am doing that. Also, my Halloween costume is awesome. No one can argue with that. <laughs> this video is going to be coming out so late. I wonder what points I'm making. Oh, I think I was talking about my tattoo. Yeah, this was when I first got my tattoo. That's why I have that thing on my arm. Anyways, so yeah, I'm putting the pie dough in. I just don't know what else to say. Oh my god. Okay, so I was talking about the ingredients I was using. So that was a mixture of blackberries and blueberries that had been sitting in a natural sugar. And then on top I'm putting some blobs of Dolce Dolce, which is a condensed milk that I put in my pressure cooker for like three hours. And it's like this caramel filling. It was actually really good. Um, and that's some Dolce Dolce mixed with some berries that has some red food coloring in to give me a nice gory color. I went way too try hard with this, but I hate just plain old fruit pie. So I wanted to make it like interesting, I guess. So next up, I used a piece of pastry to make an underline for my nose. And I'm doing the same for the lips. And you can kind of see it coming together in a weird horrifying way and then I also did the eyebrow ridge. Now underlying is the best way to go although it's kind of hard to keep it going because yeah but once you get a feel for it they'd make it the whole process a lot easier. Here I am I don't know oh yeah the pastry kept falling apart I do not know why so I was just like smushing it down to make a cover piece for my face and then I was just trying to use anything as a rolling pin. Oh I tried to use a monster can as a rolling pin it didn't work because it was empty, but here I am desperately trying to thin this out a little and just put it on and crimping the edges, covering up any holes that I didn't really want. And you can kind of see the underline of the pieces. Ew. This looks kind of gross. There's my mouth. There's my nostrils. I'm just trying to check where the things are underneath. That's why I keep lifting it. And then I cut out the fucking eyes. Kill me. Blech. This looks so disgusting from the camera view. I'm actually gonna puke. 
I'm not like squeamish. Oh, and there I am putting some red around the edges and just cutting everything. Giving you guys a good look at my face. Now this is actually so easy. I will be doing it again at some point. One of the main reasons I did this was to bring to my nan's house for a Halloween dinner. And it didn't end up happening because someone got injured. But next time I go I'll just bring one. I'll make a fresh one. Anyway, so I'm using some more of that Dolce Dolce mixture watered down with red food colouring as like some red paint and I'm putting that around the edges just to get my little Mrs. Love It vibe going. I got some in the middle and I hated how it looked so I did my best to get rid of that. Uh, always take your grease paper off the sides because that shit will set on fire and then I think I just put some straight up red food colouring and water on the holes and you can see Rum Rum's cage to the side there. I think at this point I was putting it in the oven so you're stuck with only voice me for five minutes. Help, Romy has kept me captive for so long. Please free me. And I'm back. Nothing happened. So I'm talking about the pie topping for my next one. And I saw someone do a pie topping with a crumb. So I used a mixture of almond flour and oats to do the topping for this pie. But I used regular crust as a base still. So here I am going through the process of smoothing it out again. And as always, it is so annoying. Because like at this point, I was running out of dough as well. So I was just doing my best to make as little as I could go a long way because it was like 3 a.m. and this time and there was no way I was going to the shop. And here I am smoothing it out. And then what I just slide in there, this is for the banoffee pie. So that was like a frozen like round of bananas that I'd made a few days before. So that was literally just some bananas mixed with some of the caramel mixture just to help me smooth it out. And here I am putting more of the Dolce Dolce on top. And the red dolce dolce the thing is i didn't want to make the whole batch red because i'm not always a big fan of how red food coloring tastes so i just wanted to do it in small amounts and here i am putting the oats on top and the almond flour now i really liked the top of this one because it had a really fun texture and i think it actually kind of looked super creepy so here i am trying to just get everything out this was really a weird process but i feel like this one looked slightly more horrifying than my other one I'm not gonna lie. So here I am just filling in my eye holes, my nose hole, and my mouth hole. That sounds like the title of an adult video. Um, <laughs> so here I am talking about how happy I am, right, I so guess. I just put these guys out the oven and they look absolutely crazy. I'm so psyched. I'm gonna let them cool overnight and I'll get back to you guys in the morning. Here's cut away me because I didn't do this video properly. Ha ha ha. I look like shit and in the time since this video I got a piercing. Hi. <laughs> for fuck's sake anyways so i so like i said the family event didn't end up happening so i invited my mum over on the day of halloween to come and try these pies and then i went clubbing in the evening <laughs> but yeah so here's my mum react okay what pairs of human face all right are you ready to see the pies mum as I this is Mr. Blobby. This witch. <laughs> the next one's worse. Okay. I'm gonna call this one Liz Trust out of your hatred. Okay. I mean, I see the similarities, honestly. Yeah. Well, they're um, something. <laughs> the fuck are they good? They are. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. Um, yeah, like I said, this video is gonna be out super fucking late. Um, the pies lasted longer than Liz Trust. Let's say that much. Making this video lasted longer than Liz Trust. Fuck. But yeah, this was a fun video to make and I definitely enjoyed it. So if you want more content, I don't know. Maybe leave a like if you're feeling generous. Please, I appreciate it. Um, like a TikTok re-upload got like 45k and it's absolutely fucking insane to me. So thank you for that as well. Like, I love you guys. Um, I got loads of new subscribers from that. So welcome to my channel. I'm a crackhead. Nice to meet you. It's like 11am and I'm drinking root beer out of a wine glass. Because we fancy. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I finally had the time to edit this. I've been going to college a lot recently, and I wasn't last year because COVID. 
the COVID and yeah, so I've been super busy, so my schedule has been suffering, but I'm back. So yeah, like I said, this video was based off one that uh, Garrett Watts made, I'll link that down below because he is an amazing YouTuber, I've been watching him for years and I absolutely love his videos. Um, and yeah, like I said, one of my videos got like 40k views, which was absolutely insane, like, <laughs> thank you to all my new subscribers, hi, I saw you all, I wanted to interact with every comment on that video, but I didn't get a chance because there were so fucking many, I love you guys so much, bye!